All right, welcome back, everyone. This series on the AWS Well Architected Framework is concluding with this video, which talks about operational excellence. Operational excellence is kind of a vague term, but essentially it means the following things. Manage and automate changes. So you don't want to do like this hacky thing where like you have one change that you make and you make it right here in this particular instance, and then it may or may not work, but if it does work, then you want to do that again. You have to go into the next one and do that one. And maybe you change some config, maybe you change a YAML, you change some parameters, uh, you know, you allocate more memory, whatever. If this is done on an instance by instance level, you know, by an individual, and what happens when that person leaves? You know, what happens if it does, if something completely breaks, you know, you have so much more crap to deal with versus if you just take this approach uh, by looking at what you can automate. If you're going to, if you're going to make a change, make a change in the automation of the provisioning and deploying and setting up that resource rather than making a change in that actual resource. This allows you to continually deliver value. If you can adapt to changes by changing your automation, it allows you to get back right back to where you were, even after making a pretty substantial change. Respond to events is the next aspect of operational excellence. We talked a bit about that when we were talking about like reliability, what to do when something fails, and as well as security, what to do if there's a security incident. Define the standards of successful daily operation management. If you don't know what good looks like, then you're generally not going to be able to improve. You're not going to be able to know where you're failing and, and where you're excelling. All right, that's a pretty straightforward pillar. It's it's kind of vague. I don't really know why why it really counts as its own pillar. I mean, it's almost like a summary of the first four pillars. Um, but if you do if you do those, then you know you will have operational excellence and you'll be able to really take full advantage of cloud technologies.